Hey there, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. Sorry that this review of The Masked Singer is two days late. I just needed the right mo moment, and since and since today was Valentine's Day, I figured this would be a perfect time for The Masked Sing Singer's third episode review, and I was quite busy. That's why, that's why this is late. But still, what better timing than Valentine's Day? After all, this was a Valentine's Day episode to remember. Because it's the end of Block A. Too bad for me, too bad I ended up one and two. I got the wrong answer two weeks in a row. Ugh. For those of you, you who got the last answer right, congratulations. But I hope I do better in Block B. I seriously hope I do better in Block B. I mean, I'm all. I mean, I'm all. I'm already one and one and two. The only one I got right in Block A was the robot mask. Little Wayne. And it was an answer no judge got right. But two of the judges got this week's answer right. Of course, Ken was the obvious hated judge this Valentine's Day. Or we all know it. Jesus, Ken. You got to change your attitude if you want people to like you. Jesus. And you got kissed, but you did get kissed on live television, but your wife and child would probably get this chance to see it, and no one's gonna block this episode. No way, Ken. Never. Anyways, let's move on to the review for s review what happened let from a couple days ago. The remaining contestants for Block A kicked off with a bang with a group performance singing rock and roll. That's right, Rock and Roll All Night by KISS. Talk about a great group performance. And a way to kick off the show. Man. I did not expect this song coming at all. But hey, they this was the last episode of Block A. So, they wanted to kick, end it. Ended block A with a bang. Now let's move on to each individual performances. Starting off with the turtle mask, for example. Now, each performance had a loved one recording, recording or at least someone who's close to a loved one and the turtle mask had like a teacher in recording in their mess messages and i still think the turtle mask is Zac Efron given the fact that the clues were all high schools and we all know Zac Efron was in high school musical but most people think it's Jesse McCartney I mean, seriously, the guy sang Beautiful Soul, but the guy was trending. So if he is Turtle Mask, so be it. Anyways, our Turtle Mask was singing There's No Holding Me Back by Shawn Mendes. Whether it's Zac, whether it's Zac Efron 
or Jesse McCarthy. This turtle, I am very glad the turtle mask made it this far. Now let's move on to the kangaroo mask. The kangaroo sang Diamonds by Rihanna. And I had, and the kangaroo mask, mask message came from obviously a brother. Because I don't know what the heck is going on with that kangaroo. I mean, I'm still a bit clueless on the kangaroo mask. This is kind of a... I don't know what the heck is going on with the kangaroo mask. I... I'm just glad that kangaroo mask didn't get eliminated this that episode because... because I am... I would... I would... Definitely still be one and two either way. But this one would have been my most embarrassing moment. I'm just glad Kangaroo Mask made it this far. And finally, there's the White Tiger Mask. Who sang, We will, we will rock you! By Queen. And the White Tiger Mask. Masks clues. Party all. Party all night. You bet. And. Still. The guy's obviously strong. And most people still think it's Rob Gronkowski. If it is Rob Gronkowski, I'm serious, dude. You got to prove that you are Rob Gronkowski. Most people, some people still think it could be a wrestler like John Cena. I'm not 100% convinced anymore. I still, I now think it's Rob Gronkowski. But hey, it's only my opinion. <sighs> Anyways, congrats, White Tiger. You made it out of Block A as one of the three to move on to the next round. Now, here's the thing. Let's finally move on to our eliminated contestant. And this one was a shocker. The Miss Monster Mask. Now, this one was a shocking elimination. I mean, let's review, I mean, let's review the clues, shall we? The final clue was the monster mask. I mean, seriously. We all thought it was going to be T-Pain's wife, for crying out loud, Amber Najim. But what the heck? Or at least Celine Dion, for crying out loud. But no. No, 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 no. In the end, it was Charla Can. Charla Can. Charla Can. Charla Chan. Uh, yeah, that's right. Charla Chan. Was the one that was under that mask. I mean, this is serious. My God, this is crazy. I did not predict that one. And I seriously was extremely ticked off. If any of you were... were you, if any of you thought it should have been Celine Dion or T-Pain's wife underneath that mask... You would all would also put angry remarks. This is kind of idiotic. An idiotic elimination. Or at least an idiotic guest. 
Or I should say guess. Oh, what a mess. Anyway, Sharka ended the series with the song, You Don't Owe Me. By Leslie Gore. What a way to end it. What a way to end Miss Monster Mask. We all thought, like, Monster Mask, Miss Monster Mask was going to make it all the way. But no! Gets eliminated on the final night of Block A. Anyway, that's the end of Block A. Wednesday will be Block B with all new masks. So get ready. Brace yourself for Wednesday because we are heading because we are heading to Block B. And this time we need to be ready. Who is that?